Thank you. Basically, a couple meetings ago, we agreed that the minutes would be posted on the uh, website. And so last month's minutes were, we didn't get an opportunity to vote on them. So I'm gonna ask that we uh, take a vote on those minutes. Uh, prior to that, um, Ed Bender has brought up uh, on several occasions, I'm hoping that we'll be able to close this out this evening as well. Uh, those two minutes, and we put both of them, October and November, because I this is prior to me becoming the secretary, uh, we put both of those minutes up on the website as well. So at this point, um, we're gonna ask for a motion to accept last month's minutes. Um, and October and November. Motion to accept. Okay, there's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Ma'am, when did you post it on the website? Let me let me clarify. Okay. And, and more specifically, what did you post on the now, website? Now, okay, let me let me answer Mr. Bender because she didn't she didn't post it. Okay. When we send out the um when we send out the notice that we sent out to, to all members uh, via email, uh, there uh, is a link. Last month there was a link. It was sent out the day before. I think that's why we postponed it, and that was for the um, May minutes. The November and October minutes from 2013 were those, there was a link in the notice that was sent out, um, I think Saturday or Sunday. If you, if you receive, if you didn't receive such a notice, then you have another problem that you're not getting the, the notices from Breck. But uh, I'm assuming most people got a notice of today's meeting. There's an item at the bottom, number three. It is what she's saying is true. It's click. It is. It is on. It is um, on the uh, the website server. But you would never find the URL. But if you clicked on the uh, uh, the notice that we sent. Yes, Mr. Bender. If I may, um, I think you know what I'm asking. Is it the, the minutes as amended as what I sent you? Okay, let me let me clear. Okay, let me clarify that. Okay, I'm hopeful also we resolve this this evening. But here's the thing: there there was a set of minutes for October and November 2013 that was prepared by uh, Kara Pavlok. Um, Ms. Kennedy was not the secretary at that time. In fact, you you objected to November minutes for several months, but. It was apparent, we, when I finally saw them, you handed me a copy after the last meeting, it was really October, not November, but we didn't want to hold you to that. It was, I think it was just a mistake. It was, no, it was October you had an issue with. But what the issue was, was Mr. Bender requested that certain dialogue at the meeting be <coughs> added to the minutes. So the minutes that were proposed are the ones that uh, the previous secretary, Ms. Pavlock, prepared there, if you if you have your uh, smartphone or something, you can look at it now. There was, I think, only one change. There was um, uh, in one of the meetings, Mr. Lincoln had requested a standing vote. That really was a point of procedure, and that and it was said that it was taken by a standing vote. But the dialogue that you asked for was not added to the uh, minutes. Okay. Um, so so. My original motion from last month to table this pending amendment because uh, it was not correct. And I can prove that, and I have proven that, and I've spent 10 hours providing the transcript on those minutes that were on a video tape for everyone to see. And now you're telling me that you're not going to accept the minutes as properly amended per the transcript for which I have witnesses. Okay, here's here's what I'm, I'm not saying that, but you're, here's where we are right now. We have a motion and second to approve the minutes that were that were posted on the website. Hold on a second, we're, not, we're gonna have a discussion, Mr. Gillies, we're gonna get to you. First, okay, oh, second. 
There was a second up here. Who was a second? Right up here in the front. Bill Myers. Bill Myers. Okay, so your your item, you object. We, we, we note that. Mr. Gillies in back. My question is, if the minutes were put forth by Carol Cobb like at that time, why have they been swept under the carpet until this time? That's the question number one. Let me answer that one. Thank you, sir. Okay, they were, uh, first of all, they weren't swept under the carpet, but they would have been approved months ago, but for the fact there was an objection. Mr. Bender sent a copy of what his objections were, what his proposals, it was in a format that um, Ms. Kennedy could not open and I could not open. As it turns out, by the way, I don't know if you know this, it's a format that ends in .eml. It's not a common format like PDF or, or DOCX or TXT. It was kind of an oddball format and I didn't even open it. He gave me a copy after the last meeting, but it would have been approved but for these objections. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Mr. Gillies, you there should not have been at Shut any up. time. There should not have been a motion necessary to correct the minute and a half wrong in the first place. All right, Mr. Hold. Hold just a second. It does not require an amendment to correct the incorrect amendment. All right, Mr. Mr. Bender, another round first, you're going to be asked to leave. Mr. Gillies, you have the floor. Mr. Gillies. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. This is in no way, in shape, or form to embarrass the chair, the vice chair, or our executive committee. But again, I feel this stuff is being silenced and put under where. Uh, Mr. Bender has brought forward a thing from last month and we continue to speak on the floor. I think somewhere, somewhere along the line, we as a group, as a board, we need to clean this thing up, whatever is the honest thing to do to move forward. And I hear, I feel that this is continuing to sweep it under the carpet. I hate to use those words. This is no offense to you, Mr. Chair, or to Madam Secretary, uh, but I think as a group, we need to sit here, address this thing honestly, and move forward. Because from what I feel from the motions that have been brought forward every month, that um, if I was in Mr. Bender's position, I would feel slighted and I feel embarrassed for us as a group. And I apologize. So there's my comment. I want to thank you very much. Mr. Lincoln. Thank you, thank you Mr. Chairman. Uh, I rise uh, to uh, move to amend the motion to accept. And that amendment is to bifurcate this amendment into which this evening that, that the members approve the last minute's meeting, uh, last minute for the last meeting. And therefore, to then instruct the secretary and the chairman to return at our next meeting and bring those minutes that are deficient up to the par to which the members have struggled so hard to get. And so that is a motion asking you to instruct our officers to perform the duty of bringing accurate minutes to the next meeting, but we'll approve this last meeting, which is not in conjecture. So okay, that's, you, my, that's my motion, looking for a second. Thank you. Sir. Okay, does, do you uh, mind if we um, handle these separately? Uh, mind if what? We handle these separately first, the um, first yeah, amendment. Okay. Bifurcate. Okay, any other um, discussion? Yes. Um, I get the notice every month, but I didn't see anywhere where it said to open minutes. I saw it said minutes attached, but I didn't read them. I couldn't get them. So what are you doing which will enable someone to open up for the minutes? And then there are people who don't have computers, so they couldn't have read the minutes. Okay, any other discussion? Okay, there's a there's a motion. I'd like to speak on the amendment. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Uh, fellow members, what I'm asking of you 
uh, is very simple. That we can't keep going with these uh, issues that constantly get kicked down the road. We suffer from it for a year and a half, to which our Constitution continually comes under assault, and because things just don't get pushed along in the natural order of business. So I'm asking you to help this process by ending the need to keep coming back to do this. Uh, we run this group. Make no mistake about it. The officers, they have interim authority. The full authority of this body, and we are deliberative, whether they want to admit it or not, we are deliberative, and it is our duty to instruct them on how we want our committee run. So okay. I'm asking you to put this to an end on these these past two, to either we got to be up or down on it, or let's move on, and go ahead, and the second part of my motion was to, to approve okay. this last one. Hi, right, Mr. Lincoln. Anybody, okay, as to the uh, minutes from May, Nobody's contesting those. All in favor of approving, approving the May minutes, say aye. 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 Mayor June. Well, June we don't have. Oh. This is June. Okay, Mr. Lincoln's motion is he thinks this ought to be brought back for, I really don't know. Until we have accurate minutes, it's already done, so that, that's today. Yeah, we already have accurate minutes, so I'm not sure what the motion I, I, I is. Move, I move to appeal the decision of the chair. That's Robert's rules. Who is our... Um, uh, okay, what, what, um, we didn't, we didn't vote on anything. Question here, sir. All right, there's, you know what, we have four, you have a motion for amendment on the floor, you will be seconded. Okay, hold a second, we're going to handle this amendment. You know, folks, we got 40 minutes left, we got to vacate. Okay, so here's the motion. Do you, do, if you vote in front of this motion, you want to bring it back next month to argue about it. If you vote no, then we can vote on the motion if you want to approve it now. If you vote, okay, so all in favor of Mr. Lincoln's amendment, if you're in favor of bringing that, this back again next month, please say aye. Aye. If you're opposed, say no. 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 Okay, stand up if you're, if you're voting aye. aye. If you're voting yes, stand up. Sure. Okay, only only count if there's um, standing. Well, you don't even have a quorum. You you do bring four, only stand five. if you have a badge on. If you do not have, a, don't count anybody with no badge. Would that be sufficient? Well, you know, whatever, you have to have the information for people to vote on. So in the absence of having accurate minutes, I mean, it's been admitted here to the chair that you have not included. Okay, so here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna post both and we can vote on one or the other next month. Okay, next is I would like to invite is there, can, can we approve the last meeting? We just did. Mr. Chair, the amendment was take it over. Let's vote on last meeting separately. That was Okay. I just wanted to make a statement, um, because we keep going back and forth on this um, issue. Um, 
you know, I get a lot of phone calls regarding this, and as you see, our room clears out each and every time this comes up. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to settle it, because again, this was something that took place in October of last year, and we're still on it. We don't have a lot of time, and that's what I wanted to say. I want to thank all of you who came to our Lincoln Day event. We don't have a lot of time left. We have the midterm elections upcoming, and we're wasting a lot of time. We need to move forward. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do that. Thank you. I'd like to invite you, Diana Ramos, are you still here? Yeah. Come on up. Yeah.